hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning in and today i'm just walking through my sterling ink b6 i'm not completely ready to set it up but i am setting up the initial pages and then i got some happy mail so i will show you my happy mail that i received um this is a part of my happy mail it's it's a magnet. If you hear anything in the background, just know that's that's my mini me back there, you know. And I even if you don't hear her, she's in the background. Like <laughs> that's just the way it goes over here. It's real life, but this is a magnet and um if you spent $50, you received either the gray or the orange Hermes uh, bag magnet with this order so that's the little magnet that came in the little happy mail and then this is my order the pages in the sterling ink are very um they're very soft and very light graphs these are my pages that I've already done so it's my first page and then I added the acetate to with some washi but the pages are like very soft very light the graph is very light so it looks really good with um, transparent stickers so I will probably use these for a cute birthday spread. So I'm saving those. And I'm going to use, that's when I'm going to use my little birthday um, vellum. So one day when I'm ready to set that up, I will do a video but I'm not there yet I'm still just setting up just my interior entry pages and um, this one I'm going to put in the back so I have the first two sheets set up and now I'm going to put the new vellum towards the back more of like an ouch an outro but yes this is going to be where the vellum goes and I ordered this in the size 4b6 so if you're wondering how um, things fit this is how the b6 acetate fits in the b6 sterling ink okay so let me grab some um, double-sided tape and we will tape these in. Even though I already have some tip ends in there, you can see it hasn't like caused a lot of problems, but um you have to be careful because because as you create bulk in the notebook it can cause problems for the pages so you want to put in your paper but you don't want to pull on the binding you just want to tip it in and um not cause problems with bulk so these are really thin and just like my um, tip ends that are in the front it should not cause any problems so i'm just making sure that when i lay these in that there is not a lot of um 
paper hanging out of the edge. So I do need to cut this just a little bit to make sure that it does not come outside of the notebook place. So that much. Now let's see where that will lay. Lay this down. I'm probably going to tape this down. Let's let's glue that down because it's doing too much. And I consider cutting it, like cutting it in half, and then having the um, bellum on this side and then like cutting a piece and then all of that. I considered all of that, but I don't know. Seemed like a bit much, so I'm just gonna glue this down. Don't worry about that color. It is a vanishing color. It will go and turn white. Okay. Let's see where this lays. Okay, I think that's perfect. Let's go ahead and do the tape. So the tape is gonna go on this side. So make sure if you're doing it that you make sure that it's not upside down. Okay. Okay, so that is done. As you can see, it's very thin, has not caused any problems, any buckling. All of the pages are still intact, which is the most important thing. There's no real pull on the binding. And you can use the pages that you would otherwise, you know, not use, or you can still, if you would like to do any type of writing or like put your name back here or something like that, you can still do that on that page. 
but I think that is super cute. So my intro pages are done. Now all I need to do is take the leap and begin setting up my pages with my birthday stickers. I will show you those. Let's see. B6 notebook with. So I thought she was super cute. That uh, transparent sticker paper is going to work beautifully on this Tomo River paper. So I just have some little icons and some additional stickers to use. These are matte, so I'll have to see if the matte works really. I have to see if the matte works um, in this um, Tomo River paper, how that works out. But as far as the setup, I think it's going to turn out really cute with those. So until the next time, thank you for hanging out with me. Make sure to comment. And if you enjoyed this type of content, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my unboxings. I do have a um, unboxing coming soon. So definitely hit the subscribe, turn your notifications on so that you don't miss that. Take care. Bye.